Hi everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for mastering Salesforce without getting lost in the code. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce enthusiasts. Today, we're tackling another essential Salesforce trailhead module titled Create Pick Lists and Field Dependencies. Whether you're preparing for your Salesforce administrator credential or looking to enhance your Salesforce customization skills, this module is perfect for you. Let's start with what you'll learn in this module. By the end of our session, you'll be able to create pick lists to standardize data entry and reduce errors. Then, we will set up field dependencies to streamline data selection based on related fields. All right, let's set the scene. At AW Computing, sales operations has divided the sales territory into regions and zones. Yuko Ishikawa wants to identify each account by its region and zone, while Alison Wheeler, the VP of Global Sales, needs to track the reasons opportunities are won or lost. Your mission? Set up pick lists and field dependencies to meet their requirements. Pick lists are fantastic for offering a selection of predefined options for specific fields in a Salesforce object, like a list of regions. This helps users choose from standardized values, minimizing errors, and keeping your data clean. Field dependencies take it a step further by filtering pick list options based on the value of another field, making data entry quicker and more intuitive. Yuko and Allison have provided all the necessary information via chatter posts, so let's dive right in and get started. In this walkthrough, we'll complete the steps for your hands-on challenge together. You can follow along in your trailhead playground. Here's what we'll be doing. First, we'll create a global pick list value set called region. Then, we'll add a custom pick list field called region to both the lead and account objects using that global pick list. Next, we'll create a custom pick list field called zone on the account object. This field will be editable by sales users only. After that, we'll set up a field dependency between region and zone to ensure only relevant zones appear based on the selected region. We'll also create a custom pick list field called close reason on the opportunity object, making it editable by sales users only. Finally, we'll set up a field dependency between stage and close reason to ensure the right close reasons are displayed based on the selected stage. Once we've completed all these steps, head back to the trailhead module and click verify step to earn your points. Let's aim for that 100 points together. Let's go. First up, we're going to create a global pick list value set called region. From the setup menu, click on home. In the quick find box, type pick list value sets and select it. Click new and fill in the details. For the label, region, name, region, description, this field is intended for use in regional segments across AW's org. Please add the following regions, each on a new line, APAC, EMEA, LATAM, US, Canada. Once you have entered all the values, click Save. Now, let's create a custom pick list field called region on both the lead and account objects. We'll start with the lead object. Head over to Object Manager in your Trailhead Playground. Select Lead, then go to Fields and Relationships and click New. Choose Pick List as the data type and click Next. Here's what you need to fill in. Field Label, Region. For the Pick List options, select Use Global Pick List Value Set and choose Region from the list. Add a description customer's geographical region for sales operations use only. Add help text in which region is the customer based. Click next to configure field level security. Make the field read only for all profiles by selecting the checkbox in the read only column header. Then remove the read only setting for the sales user profile so they can edit the field. Click next and finally save to complete the process. Great, now let's repeat these steps for the account object. Go back to Object Manager and select Account. Again, 
navigate to fields and relationships and click new. Choose pick list as the data type and click next. Fill in the same details, field label, region, select use global pick list value set and choose region. Add the same description, customer's geographical region for sales operations use only. Add help text, in which region is the customer based. Click next and set the field level security just like before. Make the field read only for all profiles, but ensure the sales user profile can edit it. Click next and then save. And that's it. You've successfully created the region picklist field on both the lead and account objects using the global picklist value set. Great job, let's keep going. Now, let's create another custom picklist field called zone on the account object. This field will be editable by sales users only. Follow these steps. In Object Manager, select Account. Go to Fields and Relationships and click New. Choose Pick List as the data type and click Next. On the next screen, enter the following details. Field Label, Zone. For the Pick List options, select Enter Values, then add each zone on a new line. East Asia, Oceania, Southeast Asia, Africa. Europe, Middle East, UK plus Ireland, Mexico, Caribbean, Central America, South America, Midwest, US, Northeast, US, Southeast, US Southwest, US West, US Northern Canada, Mountains and the West, the Prairies, Central Canada, East Coast. Add a description, customer zone within the selected region, for sales operations use only. Add help text. In which zone is this customer based? Depends on region. Click next to set the field level security. Select the checkbox in the read only column header to make the field read only for all profiles. Then deselect the sales user checkbox from read only so they can edit this field. Click next and then save. And there you have it you've successfully created the zone pick list field on the account object. This will ensure sales users can accurately categorize customers based on their zone within a region. Great work, let's keep moving forward. With our pick lists in place, it's time to create field dependencies. This ensures that when a region is selected, only the relevant zones are available in the zone field. Still in the account object, navigate to fields and relationships and click field dependencies. Click new and set up the dependency, controlling field, region, dependent field, zone, then click continue. Now assign the appropriate zones to each region, APAC, East Asia, Oceania, Southeast Asia, EMEA, Africa, Europe, Middle East, UK plus Ireland, LATAM, Mexico, Caribbean, Central America, South America, US, Midwest, US, Northeast US, Southeast US, Southwest US, West US, Canada, Northern Canada, Mountains and the West, the Prairies, Central Canada, East Coast. Then click Include Values after selecting the relevant zones for each region. Once you've mapped all the regions to their respective zones, Click Preview to test the dependency. Select different regions and ensure that only the appropriate zones appear. If everything looks good, click Close and then Save. Next, we'll create a custom pick list field called Close Reason on the Opportunity object. This field will be editable by sales users only. Let's walk through the steps. From Setup, go to Object Manager. Select Opportunity then navigate to Fields and Relationships and click New. Choose Pick List, Multi-Select as the data type, then click Next. Now, fill in the details. Field Label, Close Reason for the field name, Close Reason. This should auto-populate. For the Pick List values, select Enter Values and enter the following options, each on a new line. Lost, Competitor, Lost, Price, Lost, product features, 
lost, project abandoned, lost, company budget constraints, lost, other reason, one, competitor, one, price, one, product features, one, other reason, for the number of visible lines, six, add a description, created for the VP of global sales to track wins and losses, add a help text, when you close the opportunity, select one or more values that best describe your reason for closing. Once completed, click Next to set the field level security. Select the checkbox in the Read Only column header to make the field read only for all profiles. Then, deselect the Sales User checkbox from Read Only so sales users can edit this field. Click Next and then Save. And that's it. You've successfully created the Close Reason Multi-Select Picklist field on the Opportunity object. This field will help track the reasons behind your wins and losses, providing valuable insights for the VP of Global Sales. Great job, let's move on to the next step. Finally, let's set up a dependency between the Stage field and the new Close Reason field. While still in the Opportunity object, go to Fields and Relationships and click Field Dependencies, click New, and set up the dependency. Controlling field, stage, dependent field, close reason. Then click continue. Now map the close reasons to the appropriate stages. Closed. One, select all values starting with one. Closed lost, select all values starting with lost. Click preview to test the dependency by selecting different stages and ensuring the correct close reasons appear. Once satisfied, click Close, then Save, and confirm by clicking OK on the warning about not all dependent values being included. By setting up these pick lists and field dependencies, you've streamlined data entry for Yuko's and Allison's teams, making their workflows more efficient and ensuring data integrity. Great work. To wrap things up, let's recap the key takeaways while you verify your steps if you followed along. You learned how to create pick lists to standardize data entry and reduce errors. You set up field dependencies to streamline data selection based on related fields. You ensured that only relevant options are available to users, making data entry faster and more intuitive. If you found this walkthrough helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tutorials. Have questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and keep trailblazing. Until next time, stay declarative.